Hi, I'm Dave Hill coming to you live from the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. Where right now, they're celebrating Comic Con, one of the world's largest gatherings of comic book fans, comic book writers, comic book artists, and other guys who don't have girlfriends. Come on! So I can't help but notice that you're reading a comic book. Yep, it's a comic book, all right. What brings you to Comic Con? Um, there's pretty much nowhere else I could wear this. So what brings you to Comic Con? Uh, I came to cosplay and show off my extreme cosplaying skills. So this is my first time cosplaying. What? Which do you think comes first, an interest of in comic books or uh, an overwhelming loneliness? Don't you think it's dangerous to be walking around dressed like this in a room full of so many virgins? Are you are you guys uh, together or? I think you could do a lot better. There was somebody who had their infant in a stroller, and they were strolling by, and they're like, "Look, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles." It's it, it's it's too soon. It's too soon. Yeah, it's a kid a goddamn chance. Yeah. Do you date comic book fans? No. <laughs> I hate comic books. So do you date dudes with sweet microphones? <laughs> Superman has kryptonite, and you probably your weakness is dampness. So is this officially a guys only event or did it just sort of work out that way? It just worked out that way. Of your your on-screen roles, which do you think would translate best to a comic book setting? Well, You've never been asked that before, have you? Yeah. Congratulations, Dave. Give Dave his due. I would say, uh, you know, the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids that we did as a TV series would do very well. That would be good. What uh, about Newhart? Gee, you don't want to see that. Uh, Newhart, the graphic novel. Think about it. I feel like I can really talk to you. A lot of the people here today, I feel like... I'm famous in Canada. Like, it sounds really dope. You're famous in Canada, famous too? In Canada. <laughs> She's too. famous in Canada, famous too. In Canada. <laughs> One more thing we have in common. Really? Where are you from? Cleveland. Which do you prefer? Geek, dweeb, or dork, or... I prefer geek because it's gone from an insult to a label of pride. I consider myself part of a community. We've grown through conventions like this, through the internet. It's just huge. Okay, geek. What is it about guys that are into comics that make them so irresistible to women? What are you doing after Comic-Con today? Uh, I live in Connecticut, so I would be going home to Connecticut. Where in Connecticut? Um, what? What's the address? If you could pick one superhero to kick the ass of the guy that's going out for a bite to eat with your girlfriend, who would it be? It'd have to be Abraham Lincoln, maybe. He's not, that's like a president. That's not a superhero. He ended slavery, didn't he? Yes, he did. That's pretty heroic. You nailed it, my man. You nailed it. Put the thing down again. Let's go. Come on. We sure did have a lot of fun at Comic-Con today. If you're not into comics, fuck you! Tickle fight. Tickle fight. <laughs>